Hey guys, it's Faye, and today's tutorial video is going to be how to remove the instrument cluster on a 2008 or pretty much anything from like 2005 to 2015, they're very similar, um, Toyota Tacoma. So here goes. The tools you will need for this job, a 10 millimeter socket, an extension of some sort, preferably with a wobbly end to it, a plastic pry apparatus, <laughs> and a stubby Phillips screwdriver. And that's literally it. Okay, so we're going to start by pulling off the footrest, and then there's just this plastic nut, which you can just remove by hand. this. Then next we're going to want to pull up, whoops, <laughs> then next we're going to want to pull up this panel so you can just take, um, here. there we go, so you just take a tool like this um, and really just run it anywhere along, whatever makes sense for you to pull it up from. I like to kind of pull it up from the back and work my way to the forward. But. And once again, they're just a series of clips, so just pull on as hard as you can. Um, and then this piece is going to come off. So where we had our nut before, pull forward on it, and it pops off like that. I did not do this wiring, so don't judge. Um, next right here, we're going to see a 10 millimeter bolt, and there's another 10 millimeter bolt on the other side. So I'll show you. So there's this one right here, and then there's another one hiding using my humble mechanic pocket screwdriver. There's another one right here. Okay, so next you pull out the, I mean, I, I kind of already did by mistake. Um, you, you pull out this little uh, cup thing. I don't know, um, but once again, you just, you just yank it out because it's got these little clips. And then you can pull down this, um, the center console piece. I mean, this lower part and disconnect any wires. Actually, I should probably show you how to do this, huh? So you just got these two here. It's a little challenging to do with one hand, but you press in this tab here, pull it out. There we go. And I can see these, are, these two are very different. So I know that the red is going to be closer to the steering wheel. So I don't feel like I need to label this. Um, and actually are they, yeah, it looks like you could accidentally put them in the wrong one. Wait, actually, wait a second. No, you couldn't put them in the wrong one because they're different sizes. <laughs> oh, Toyota. Gotta love it. And once you disconnect those two, you can pretty much just let it hang. These are these are fine because we don't actually need to pull this whole thing off. We just need to be able to get to the upper piece. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is going to get a Phillips screwdriver because we've got to undo. We've got to remove that and that. These two little screws. So I'm going to do that and be right back. Also, I should point out that... Um, Oops, okay, <laughs> start looking through the camera. Um, I should point out, be like super delicate with these. See how like I'm not putting a lot of force. Be super, super gentle because these are actually plastic and they're really fine thread. So, oh, oops, looking through the camera. Once you get to that point, there we go. That's what they look like. So, okay, so now that I have um, those two little screws, those little fasteners removed, I'm just gonna yank gently. Oops, okay, so if one of these little yellow guys just falls off, not a big deal, just keep track of it. We'll put it back on um, and we're putting it back together. Oops. steering wheel as far down as it can go. One more over here. Come on. And then I've got this little dimmer right here. Just be really careful because there are tabs sticking out and you just don't want to scratch the plastic on your instrument panel. Oh, you know what? That's weird. I didn't realize. I'm sorry. There's actually another electrical connector here. 
um, which I wasn't expecting right here, which is a blank. So, <laughs> um, that's interesting. So if y'all run into that, weird and it's not held on the way that you expect either it's the first time i've ever run into that um okay so put this off to the side somewhere safe okay. and now here we have our gauge Ta -da! now there's a lot of um there's a lot of dust on it <laughs> it's a work shock these are just screws um and they're just going into plastic so it's okay for me to use a power tool taking um them out but when time comes to put them back in just be um oops may have to use an extension oh there we go if you're really careful um i wouldn't use a power tool putting it back in and one more actually I recommend using an extension for this part. Okay, there we go. Extension. This is a, um, as you can tell, a wobble head extension. So I can get around the um, funky angle necessary. Okay, so next. Um, there are, I think only two electrical connectors. Um, yeah, one, two, and same like before in the back middle, there's a tab you need to squeeze and then ta-da! So the reason that I took this out is because I wanted to see what the heck was going on. Um, with my bulbs. So I'm going to take it apart right now and take a look. Yeah, so there you have it. Now now it's out and now you can do whatever it is you're going to do for whatever reason you watch this video. Whether you're going to just replace this whole thing, whether you're going to solder in new LEDs in case you don't like the factory red, which I love the factory color personally, so I'm not going to do that. Um, or if you need to swap out your little odometer piece. Um, yeah. Well, I'm going to put it back together because I have somewhere to be. Um, but uh, yeah, now, now, now you know.